Hello friends. In this session, I will be talking about how to use access modifiers with C sharp programming language. Access modifier or access specifier is a term which is used mainly for keywords like public, private, internal, protected, and protected internal. Now these keywords are used mainly by the programmers to define that how a particular member of a class is being accessed within and outside the class or even an assembly. As you might be aware, an assembly is a unit of deployment in .NET. For a quick recap, if you are building a DLL or an executable project output, that particular component is an assembly in .NET terminology. Here, let's begin with it. I have created a class. The class name is access modifier or access specifier, I am calling it here, which has few components in it. The components are my variables and I created those as private, internal, protected, public and protected internal. Now, as you know, private is something which is available only to the container class. Container class, class means that the class which is holding the variable. Private is visible only to that particular entity. Whereas internal is visible or it is accessible in an entire assembly. What do we mean by entire assembly here? As you can see, I have only class 1.cs file, but this whole project will be compiled into a namespace access specifier.dll. So at a given point of time, if I want, I can have as many classes as I want. Now there are two ways to have classes. One is logical separation and one is physical separation. Logical separation means that within class 1.cs file, I can have another class just like I have here and I can have one more class just like I have here. But all these classes right now, if you look at this, all these three classes are part of one single, one single class 1.cs means I have one physical class 1.cs file which is having multiple classes in it. So if there is a member which is of internal type by nature is going to be accessible across all the classes within an assembly. The other scenario could have been that I want to create one class physically like this. So I say add new class and it adds class 2.cs here. So if I add that particular variable here, I should be able to access that. That is what we are trying to do. Now, moving on, protected is a type of variable or member which becomes available only via inheritance. So unless or until you inherit from the class which is holding protected in it, that child class is not going to see it. So it is mandate that you have to inherit in order to access protected variables or protected member. Another one which many programmers by nature, by default, start typing with public, which is not a very good programming practice. You should know what is an appropriate access modifier for that particular member variable at a given point of time, rather than defining everything as public, because public means it's open. Anybody can access it. Now, public means it is available to the container within the assembly and outside the assembly. It is available everywhere that is public. Now next one is protected internal. Protected internal means that it is visible 
via inheritance and also available within the assembly so if it is protected internal an assembly can see it and if there is another class driven from this assembly then that particular child assembly or child class can also see it now these are five major access modifiers we have in C sharp private internal protected public and protected internal let's see how it works so here I have a class I called it another class inside that let's see what I can access so inside this I'm going to create an object first so I say access specifier object equal to new access specifier and when I put my object here what members of access specifier class should I see let's let's figure it out so first is I have private private means which is available only to the container class and my container class is this that means I should not see private variable in another class here because this private variable is going out of scope next one is internal that is internal variable which means it is available in entire assembly across the classes and right now I am in one single assembly and I have I am shifting my focus from class access specifier to class another class which means I should see internal variable then next is protected string protected variable which is accessible only via inheritance so I don't think we need to see that because we are not inheriting we are creating an object so this is out of the picture we are not going to see it public variable this is by nature available throughout everywhere so you will see public and then protected internal which is mix of two access specifiers one is protected and one is internal so here since we are within the assembly when you will put a dot here in IntelliSense we should see internal public and protected internal I repeat we should see internal public and protected internal let's see so I see here internal variable because it is available in entire assembly I see protected internal because it is internal and protected both so right now you are getting the the feature which is coming because of internal and then public because public is accessible in entire assembly or even outside the assembly regardless of what class you are in so this is how you got to know what is accessible when you create an object now moving on let's see what is available when you do inheritance so here we did inheritance and this child class has got all the member variables or member functions and properties whatever we had in access specifier is now driven into the child and child can verify that by putting a keyword called this when you say this dot I am seeing internal variable you are seeing internal because it is still visible within the assembly so you are seeing internal you are seeing now protected internal because it is both protected and internal that's why you are seeing now protected this time protected is also taking priority and internal this time both the access specifier combination is working so you see protected internal as well and then only purely protected also you see because this protected variable is coming because you are inheriting that's why you are seeing it this time and then public of course this is going to be everywhere because you are having it publicly accessible in every single class so this is that how your access modifiers work across the classes and in an assembly. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Thank you very much for watching.